the Natelli Observatory will soon begin the journey of creating the wow factor for generations to come. It has modern equipment, but its structure is classic. It has substance. It will soon be a destination for people. Soon, other people will be dreaming. And most importantly, there will be a few young people, maybe those who are quiet and even invisible to the others around them, who will wander out to the observatory when it's 20 degrees in the middle of February, when everyone else deems it too cold to go outside, and they'll gaze at the Orion Nebula, the rings of Saturn, or the great red spot on Jupiter. It will be something unique and mystical for that child, and a passion will be unlocked. But Arthur C. Clarke writes, sometimes I think we're alone in the universe, and sometimes I think we're not. In either case, it is quite staggering. When I work with students, oftentimes, I'll get excited and enthused in front of them, and I'll say, wow, look at that. Incredible, awesome. Miraculous! So on behalf of the Frederick County Public School System and the over 40,000 students who work with us every day, we thank you, Mr. Natelli, for your generous support and for being a model to others for what community collaboration can mean and the difference it can make in the life of a child. His desire to provide something long-lasting and structurally pleasing will entice the public for many years to come. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Thomas has come a long way from the original thoughts. Michael Natelli has been on site much of the summer, and without a doubt, he has now more experience in building small dome observatories than anyone else. It has been a pleasure to work with him. When I was in high school, um, I had this teacher. Her name was Mrs. Bowman. She. Uh, she had this way, I mean, she would do all these crazy things. She, she would call, she would always say, okay, we're gonna have a, a T-H-I-N-G, which was her, you know, she was gonna give, it, give you a quiz, but she would call it a T-H-I-N-G. And I just got the biggest kick out of this lady. And uh, she had a way of taking whatever the, you know, kind of the study of the day was and relating it to everyday life. And she connected with me and she did, she did one of those things that I think most great teachers hope to do. She left a lasting impression on me. I don't know where she is right I don't know where she is now, but she did, really did. And I ended up going to engineering school. And I think about this lady, believe it or not, a lot. So she, she, uh, she had uh, just this infectious enthusiasm for teaching. And, um, you know, I just got to let you know, you got some of that in this community, too. So you've got these two guys here who have been at this thing for 24 years. Jeff Grills and Mark Bowman. And um, talk about infectious enthusiasm. These, these guys are amazing. I mean, you look at what they've done here over their careers, um, marshalling resources and developing a vision to, to build this amazing facility. It just, just really, really tremendous. And I think exemplary um, in so many ways and examples of what this Frederick community is about and what the, the school system is about here. Um, so we want to do something very special tonight for these guys. We actually want to dedicate this facility to Jeff Grills and Mark Bowman for the outstanding contributions they've made to the Frederick community for many, many years. <laughs>